from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and fighting out of Rama Martial Arts. Let's welcome him in the blue corner with a record of 4-0-0, Lewis Facets. Now, Josh, here we have Lewis, as you can see. He's a character, that's for sure, and uh, he's got a solid record, but I think he's going to have his hands full tonight against Ben Frazier. Ben has uh, got some solid wrestling, definitely a great ground game, so it's, it's going to be a very good fight. You know, it's, yeah, I can understand it. You're probably a bit biased considering Ben, uh, the mighty Frazier, actually trains at your school, and he's a great guy. This is his first fight. And the jitters he must be going with, going up against a guy who's had four fights. I think this is something he's been wanting to do for a while, and uh, you know what, it's it's hard. You really don't know what to expect, but. You know, Louis Massette's actually walking in with. Um... Right, our next player. This player comes from here, Regina, Saskatchewan. And the crowd goes wild. As Ben, the mighty Frazier, is coming into his first MMA event, fighting a completely different opponent than he had been training for. But nonetheless, I think he's ready to go. Please welcome, in the red corner, Ben Frazier. and now he's going to do his thing. Well, of course you do. What, what was crazy, I was walking back to talk to some of the other fighters earlier in the night, and I heard two fans actually take a big money bet on this fight. There's a guy behind us that actually put $200 on uh, Louis Fassette to win this. So we'll see what happens, but this should make it really interesting. Because guys right behind us, actually one guy's got $200 on Louis Fassette, and Louis just took this fight on a couple days notice. So definitely uh, a different experience for both fighters, for Ben it's his debut, uh, for Hollywood Fassette, you know, he's taking this fight on short notice. You don't know if he's in shape. You don't know if he's mentally prepared. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. When you're talking to Ben the Mighty Frazier, I asked him who his favorite fighter is. I get GSP all the time from fighters. Here, I think he's going to try to use his wrestling, use his jiu-jitsu, dominate those positions, and get the submission. I think that's going to be his strategy here. We'll see how that plays out. Fantastic. Looks fired up, looks ready to go. Coach AJ Scales in the corner giving last minute instructions, both coaches to both fighters. There seems to be a lot of emotion in this. There's a yeah. lot of fans here from Regina for, for Ben the Mighty Fraser. That's right. We'll see what happens. Ben throwing feelers for jabs here. Shoots that double. And almost takes him right out of the ring. Ben is a pit bull with that takedown. He's almost got the back already. He has one hook in. Starting very strong here. And Louis, Hollywood Louis Fassette actually waving to his coaches. Waving, waving, enjoying this position, not realizing that he's in any type of danger. Ben still, he's got ben the body still. Lock from the back here, driving him down. Pulling a little a la John Fitch by just staying yeah. on him, absorbing, just not letting him do anything, right. maintaining the position and holding him down. Louis Fassette seems to be smiling on the bottom, but Ben seems to attack with Lewis, reckless abandon. Yeah, Louis seems comfortable, he seems okay, but uh, Ben's on him like a wet blanket, you know, this is, this is his game here. So Louis doing a smart thing, actually walking over to his corner. And once again, two takes down. So in wrestling, do you get points for that? In sports jujitsu, would that be takedowns, or is it just sort of rolling well, around if, right now? If, if, if um, sorry, if Lewis had ended up on his back with Ben in a, in a more controlled position, I believe that'd be points. Here, here, it's going to be. It's there's a bit of a gray area. I guess it depends where you so go. So great job for Ben trying to sneak in the other leg, and what he wants to do is try to take his back. What's That's the right. danger of this position? Uh, just that, he's ended up on the bottom. He had control over half the body with one hook. He didn't have upper body control, and he's scrambling back up to his feet here. Great and defense getting right back leg. to his knees. Ben's in a tough spot here. He's gonna wanna try to stand back up, and he does. Good job. 
Throws the loose. Okay. Bench pick that left hand up. He's got the lead hand a little bit low. Swinging wild here. A couple of tough prairie boys wanting to go. I think Ben is uh, really trying to time that shot. He wants that double leg. He's got a good double leg. I think he's got to pick that lead hand up a little bit though. There it is. Right in front of us here. Almost, almost landing on our table, Jeff. Both men battling in the clinch here. So he's right in front of his feet, basically yeah. on the table here. And we pardon, uh, pardon us for the interruption. We're getting we're having a break here, here, but we're getting hit by feet. Um, Ben almost ends up on his back, but he's back to his feet. Good spin, good spin. Oh, what a great spin by Ben. Unbelievable technique. Now he's got him in the corner. I'm not sure what happened. Here. It looked like they wanted to protect the fighters. They wanted to make sure he still had the right position. So they're gonna restart with Ben Frazier in side control here. Ben the mighty Frazier on top position Inside mount, what should he be doing here, Josh? Uh, watch out for the head and arm choke. Ben's got a good head and arm choke. He's got long arms and he's he's really wiry. He's used to being in this position. He's got, yeah, I'd, I'd watch the chokes. Definitely watch the mount. Ben's, uh, I think Ben's got plans from this position. Lewis has got to watch, he doesn't give up his back here. I think he's got half guard back. We were talking to Ben in the pro fight and in, in the fight interviewers after and one of the things that he that he said, he's an electrician actually by trade, really smart guy, really nice, but he asked him what the worst thing about training MMA is and cutting the weight. He Absolutely. just you know and, and everybody says that. How do you deal with that sort of what's he going for here? What's happening here? Uh, it looked like Lewis was looking for a, a Kimura from the bottom. Ben just kind of powered out of it and still controlling here. Absolutely, I know uh, Ben uh, hates cutting weight. Everyone hates cutting weight, but uh, Ben uh, likes to party. So yeah. Are there any Are there any mental tricks to cutting weight? Is there anything that you could kind of focus on to get you away from it? Or is there any sort of thing for a guy who's been through wrestling and jujitsu and doing it to help him? I think it's just it's just getting in the hours. I think like most other things, it's how much time you spend doing. I know I know a lot of people who. Uh, have no issues cutting 20, 25 pounds in, this, in a sauna. And, what do you mean by putting in the hours? Just getting in there and in the sauna? Yeah, I think the more you do it, the easier it's gonna be mentally. I think for, oh, he's gonna watch the Kimura here. So oh, no. he had his full on Kimura and had to had to change position to get out of that submission. Now he's in trouble from a rear naked choke. Ben's you can hear trouble, AJ yeah. Scales. Ben should go belly down here. He shouldn't stay on his knees. He's telling him, he's telling him the last seconds of the round. And that's it. And a great first round. Great round. By Ben, the mighty Frazier, and Hop. I wonder yeah. how the guy's doing where he, he's bet the $200 on this fight. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take a look back and take a look. Does he look nervous? He's, worried. he's sweating. Yeah, I think he looks nervous. Not to jinx it. It's a full three more minutes left. Neither guy looks overly tired. They both look like they're two. in good shape. Round two. Ben again, starting off with that jab. Lead hand a bit low. Ooh, good exchange there. One of the things that it's... Ben almost running across the ring for that double leg. Lewis and Louis Bissette sprawling it. hard yeah. not to get in that same situation. Uh-oh. Oh, Frazier on his back here. Lewis handed a good kick to the body. Ben's got a good guard here though. Very long legs, long arms, very tricky. Isn't the tendency for the new fighters to get not just lazy in the in the guard here? Or do, do you guys train for a way that you make them want to go for a submission? Oh, definitely. It's, uh, you know, if you're not really active on the bottom and avoid, oh, look it. at the arm lock here. He's got it. He might have it. Ben's got extended hips here. He's really got to use his hips. He's gonna have to push Lu it. Lewis is defending well, he's stacking him, he's putting his pressure on him so Ben can't extend his hips and, and pop that arm, but... And it looks like and he's, he's almost out. he's the triangle. Looking oh, for a he's triangle. got the shoulder in. Back to full guard. Great attempt by Ben, the mighty Frazier. Yeah, Great move from Yeah, we don't want any stalling from the bottom, Jeff. You know, it's especially with the judges, it just, 
to someone who doesn't really understand, it looks bottom. It looks bad when you're on the bottom if you're not really pressing the action. So, you know, you want to sweep your opponent, submit them, or just stand back up when you're on the bottom. So do you guys train for when guys are ramming, throwing punches down, and you guys throw your arms up? It seems to be like like you're always trying to defend that punch and do well. What do you do in this position? Uh, Ben's got to avoid just, oh, he, he almost did a butterfly sweep here. He's in the half guard. He was looking for a sweep there. I think Ben may want to actually stand back up here. He's hipping out. Trouble. Hungry. That's right. He a was... real chess match here. A lot of, a lot of. Frazier is very hungry to get that top position. He's all hard right now. First MMA fight. He's fighting a much tougher, uh, sorry, much more experienced much fighter. Much more experienced fighter. Yeah. And he's got what that position. What an unbelievable reversal. And he's on and top. And got full mount. He's got the mount. And this crowd's going crazy with the full mount. What does he have to be careful here, Josh? He's really got to watch his base here and just not end up on the bottom again. Land those strikes he needs, but be patient. Not lose this position. The crowd is going absolutely crazy. This here, is Jeff. a great crowd, and they're here for Ben the Mighty Fraser over Hollywood Lewis Bissett. He's Lewis. raining punches down. He's maintaining that position. Lewis gets a, the half guard back. Ben's still on top, though, and he, he landed a good flurry when he was in the mount position, definitely keeping the crowd in this fight. And, very, very close fight so far. I'm not sure how I'd call this. We can actually hear the punches. Right Absolutely. Fantastic effort by both fighters. Ben staying tight like a John Fitch, not allowing the set to have any motion, any That's movement. Right. He's doing a good job of uh, swarming and just and smothering the set's offense. Um, we got the best seed in the house right here, Jeff. So Do you have any advice for your, your competitor and the guy that you coach all the time? In this position, now that he's in full guard, what are you going to tell him to do? Uh, like I always say, when you're in someone's guard, posture up, sit right up, don't bend over at the back, keep your back strong, start raining those shots down, try to pass the guard. Is he rolling him here? Is he in danger of being rolled? How's his base? He's, uh, his base is a little bit compromised right now. I think he's just conscious. He's watching that Kimura. I think Fissette's fishing for that left arm. That's why Ben's compensating a little bit. He's just being careful. With his shoulder? That's right, yeah. He's keeping his now right his shoulder on wide, the floor. As wide as it can go. There, now he's out of that position. Ben seems content, to actually, to stay in the guard here. I mean, he may just want to strike from inside here. A couple more shots landed by Ben. He may be stealing this round. Fissette started strong, but Frazier back on top. And he's working hard. When you see Louis Fassette start moving his legs like that, is he in trouble? He's in trouble of a triangle right now. Frazier should posture up, look at the ceiling. It's all pot. There it is, he's out. Great and he job. escaped the triangle, the crowd's going wild. I'm very, very, very proud and impressed with Ben right now. He's in there. His first what? fight, and that's he's fighting right. an experienced fighter that's 4 0. Yep. The guys behind me were betting $200 that he would beat him. And you just see he's exhausted, he's, but he's not giving up. No. He's got it. Both corners are absolutely animated and shouting, ben, screaming directions at their fighters. Ben's a worker, and he's, they're both working right till the end. Trading punches. Great fight. What a fantastic effort. There is no loser in that fighter. Hollywood Louis Fassett and Ben the Mighty Frazier. Ben showing an incredible, incredible uh, tactical jiu-jitsu match, everything in that first fight. Look at AJ Scales like a proud papa standing there clapping for his boy. Very proud of Ben, he's a pit bull in there. Fantastic. Very shortly here. A lot of great exchanges on the ground, very technical stuff. You can tell both these guys uh, I'm gonna spend a, a lot of time on the map. I'm going to take a look back oh, at that guy that bet that $200 again. Oh, he's not even there. He left. He left. He's not even sitting where he was. I tell you what, I got the winner right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the winner. Here we at go. At the end of the second round, by majority decision. Majority decision. In the the red corner, Ben Fraser! And the crowd goes wild, and a majority decision, not a unanimous decision. One judge gave that fight to Hollywood Louis Fassette. I'm not sure if he was involved in the $200 bet behind, but both fighters did a great job.